about gun violence all the time. The latest incident was Las Vegas shooting in which 59 people lost their lives. But what happens when that violence hits close to home and it's someone that you love that loses their life? Well, our guest today, Deshaun Simpkins, lost his son, Deshaun, and his nephew, Kier. But through that pain, he found a way to uplift the community. Welcome, Deacon Dundada. Thank you Welcome. for having me. Thank you. Of course, of course. I just want to say sorry for your loss, Yeah. first of all. But I just want to go back a little bit because before you started your whole love, not hate march, you were actually already doing things in the community. Talk about some of the things you were doing. Uh, that is correct. Um, well, we've been in the community uh, doing uh, safe haven uh, communities and, uh, and programs in the community, uh, after school programs. Uh, we service like over 650 uh children uh, a year and um, um, I also do football head coach of football so I'm in the mm -hmm. community with the youth you know constantly mm -hmm. and um, this is what we doing trying to uplift the community and you know instill some uh, morals and qualities in the youth so that they have something to go on with when they grow up and be inspired to do something other than the regular uh, street violence and right. hustling and stuff like that where it's so common for us is a population as far as the black community and right. poverty um, fall into. Right, and I know that you also have something called gangs, get, what, what is it, gang, gang alternative, alternative program? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's GAP? GAP program, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a gang alternative program because the environment that we come from is a gang, you know, infested and uh, affiliated and um, you got to have the proper tools in order to navigate through that type of environment mm -hmm. in order to overcome the traps of gang violence and gang activity. So what's right. some of the programs that you guys um, administer in GAP? Uh, GAP, we um, teach the kids um, uh, to combat the criminal thinking, uh, the criminal activity. Mm -hmm. um, we give them tools as far as uh, job skills, training, life skills, uh, teaching trades like carpentry, plumbing, you know, et cetera, so they don't have to result to selling drugs or, right. you know, gang banging, uh, which is so common in the neighborhood. So we want to give them other tools, uh, you know, because at the end of the day, they got to make money or make mm -hmm. ends meet. And if they learn how to do carpentry, electrician, or plumbing, or even real estate, Mm -hmm. um, which is the American dream, then they don't have no excuse to hustle on the street corner because you have a tool and an avenue to utilize in order for you to make ends meet, to make money. So you right. give them kind of a family? Yes. Really? Wow. Yeah, definitely. How definitely. did you get into the youth or um, football organization? How, how did that happen? Well, I grew up playing sports in my community myself and my brothers, my cousins, my mm -hmm. nephews. You know, I come from a background of athletic uh, uh, family. So it was common nature for me to give back in that community once, you know, my career was over and I made my bad what decisions. Was it, what, were you, what were you doing? Football or? Football. Okay. Football, right, a little bit nice. of basketball, but football mainly, um, mm -hmm. you know, because I got to run, you know, a, a company, you know, <laughs> so I can't do it all. But for the most part, I, I try to contribute and give back to the community the best way I can. Right. Okay. Right, so it sounds like, you know, you were really involved in the community with the kids and everything like that, but I can imagine that you already knew kids who had perhaps been lost to violence or had been in gangs. So when violence touched your life, like, how did that affect you? Uh, I'm, we still going through it right now. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's trauma. It's a traumatic experience. Um, I'm from the streets, so... Um, Normally, a person from the streets would tend to react and go and retaliate from whatever happened or whatever transpired. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm learning a different way from my old behavior and old ways because, you know, I've been back and forth to jail and prison. I've been on the streets myself, mm -hmm. you know, and um, veered away from a career that I once had in football. Mm -hmm. So by me going back and forth to jail, you know, for the uh, umpteenth time, um, I did mm -hmm. over 15 years in prison. And um, uh, enough was enough. So, mm -hmm. you know, I said I'd done it my way. Let me try a different way. So, you know, I turned my life to God and studied the word. You know what I mean? Um, got into the Bible real deep. And um, wow. the Lord blessed me nice. with um, wow. a, a better insight, a better outlook on life. So I'm able to, you know, thrive off of that um, energy that he gave me to mm -hmm. create a different retaliation. Now mm -hmm. I'm going around in my community and across the states and different, you know, around the world 
telling people to stop the gun violence. You know, right. now I'm Free touching right. many lives instead of going to retaliate how I would do. Now I'm touching many lives, you know, cause, because the energy has to be re re reciprocated anyway. So I have to, this is more like therapeutic for me. Right. This keep me positive. This keep me going because I don't want no parent to go through what me and my wife is going through. Right. You know, so the struggle is, is real. Um, to let the youth know that uh, whoever you uh, arguing with and you tend to act out in violence, that person has a mother, that person has a loving father, exactly. you know, exactly. they got cousins, they got relatives, you know, and so easily we tend to have no value of life, you know, and, and react in, in anger and hate. So that's why, why the love and not hate movement in March started, because we got to show more love and not community than hate, which we so easily do to each other. Right, so it came out of pretty much what you were already doing already and trying to be more positive and stuff like that. Exactly. You were gonna say something? I was going to say, tell us about the day, about the, the first March. Like, how was that? Right. How was that? You had Benny, you had Al Sharpton. I mean, it, it was the who's who. Yeah, Al Sharpton came out. Um, big up the uh, Reverend Al, um, who heard about, you know, the incident and was moved by it and um, wanted to come and support and speak out, you know, against gang violence, you know, and, and, and love and, and not hate in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, my hometown is East Orange, New Jersey, the, the born and raised mm -hmm. from there. And that's the home and birthplace of Naughty by Nature. Right. So mm -hmm. we grew up as family. So okay. it wasn't nothing for family to, you know, because they was moved by the incident, too, because they know me personally. Right. So one call, you know, the community came together and it was an outpour of love because my son was so popular. My nephew was so popular. Yeah, he was a football player. He was a football yeah. player. Yeah. He had a four year scholarship um, at Norfolk State um, University. Mm -hmm. And, um, it, you know, it, there's no words can explain, but the kid was on a course of being successful right. and his life was cut short. He was just right. coming home visiting the neighborhood and wanting to be in his community that around happens. his peers and just was in the wrong place at, at the, the wrong, wrong time. time. Was that ever solved? Because it was like a triple shooting. Well, they give me information as far as uh, bits and pieces, as far as mm -hmm. the detective that's so secretive, but um, it's an ongoing uh, uh, investigation that's going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. But the movement and the march was so uh, beautiful because of the outpour of the community and the love that was showed. Uh, like I said, Naughty by Nature came out. My boy, uh, Vin Rock from Naughty by Nature hosted the entertainment part of the um, show. And um, Al Sharpton spoke, uh, Rod Digger from Flip Mode came, um, politicians from East Orange, uh, the mayor from East Orange, uh, the elect Ted Green came, uh, Tony Voss, the mayor of East um, Irvington came, uh, wow, Exus County a, came strong. A lot of people um, there, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Sheila Oliver, she's a, like about to be governor or she's running for something major in the community. Mm -hmm. And she even told her testimony about, uh, you know, her loved one that she lost and was boohooing and it was just, you know, everybody sharing and showing love. It was just amazing. And um, we want the youth to see that we can show love and spread love to each other so that they can see that it's okay to, you know what I mean, to, to, to show love to each other right, and to communicate right. and it don't have to be no hatred. Not, doesn't and, mean you know, you're soft or whatever. Yeah. You know, that's right. a human so emotion. tell us about your song that you dedicated to your son for Seeds the Field. Seeds yeah, in the Field. Seeds in the Field. Seeds in yeah. the Field. Yes, okay. yes. It's off my album, Spiritual Ammo. Um, you can get it online, any major music site. You could download it, Spiritual Ammo. Um, uh, or you can go to my website, deacondundada.com. That's D E A C O N D O N D Y D Y.com. And um, the, uh, the single with Season of Phil, which is um, uh, a, a metaphor, you know, from a Bible verse as far as the parables about the seeds in the field. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that just like a seed you put in the ground, you wanted to water it, you wanted to grow and flourish and blossom into something beautiful. Um, and our seeds is our children and our offsprings, and we're also seeds because we have mothers and fathers um, and that nature. So we all can relate to seeds in the field, whatever career you're in, whether it's the football field, basketball field, whether it's in college, you're going to get your major in this, or in economics, these are fields that you are in in this world. So seeds in the field is a relate. We want to cultivate and um, you know uh, nurture our seeds, which is our youth, so that they could grow and blossom and become beautiful. Nice. So how did the youth that were present kind of respond to this whole march and the movement? 
Oh, the youth was great, man. Um, they they receptive to the message. They receptive to the mu the movement, uh, love and not hate. And I I just feel as though more youth need to know about it and to hear it and and it can become something uh, that can change lives. Definitely, definitely. Okay. So you know, I just want to. I mean, when we're talking about gun violence, I mean, I can't talk about it outside of kind of this politicized moment that we're living in, right? So you have things like people doing Black Lives Matter and saying, you know what, no more. People turn around and say, wait, but black on black, y'all don't say anything about that. Given that you have turned this into like a movement and a march and everything, what is your response to that when you hear people saying black people don't care about, you know, black on black crime or community crime, so to speak? Yeah, well, you're going to have that, you know, in the community, uh, black on black crime. Um, charity starts at home. So if we're going to fix something and correct something, it's going to have to start with us. And it's not going to be all in, in one setting or one occasion because it takes a village to mm -hmm. raise a child. So it's going to take a community to, to make sure that this black lives really do matter. And it's mm -hmm. going to take from one person to the next person to the next person until it would affect millions. Because for the system is designed for us to hate on each other and everybody's a crab in the bucket trying to get to the top and nobody want to see each other blossom and, and, and bloom. But today we, we have to, you know, learn to appreciate one another and, and, and want more for them that you would want for yourself. All you know, right. it's, it's just basically principles of the Bible. You know, um, God is love and you want to show more love than hate. So if you show more love and, you know, to your neighbor, then that love is going to reciprocate back towards you. And mm -hmm. then you, we can change energy. one at a time. Yeah, it's it's more energy. good positive it energy. It definitely is. Definitely is. So I just want to ask you, like, how do you want people to remember your son, your nephew? Uh, my son was uh, uh, an example of... Um, inspiration of the youth on the right path, going to um, going on going the right direction, and to be careful that any given moment, you know, it could be taken away from you. To cherish your opportunities, um, we have communities of of, of um, the youth in in our community in uh, Virginia where he went to school at, um, the high schools that he went to, that all dedicating that their success for him. Because he was a, a an example on which direction to go. Full year scholarship, made it to college, on the right path. So whatever your path and your dreams are, to 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 savor the moment and and capture the opportunity because tomorrow is not promised. So don't waste it away. Be all you can be. And um, I just want to say glory and big up to my son, you know, who gave us that inspiration and example when he's up in heaven now with the father. And uh, long live Dada, that's the hashtag, and long live Kia, my nephew. And um, for those that know about the movement and that's going to be a part of the movement, keep them in your heart as an example to, to, to be successful and do all you can be in this life and from the life on. Please, yeah. Please look out for the next year's Love Not Hate March mm -hmm. because it's only going to grow. We know that. And right. We're here to support you. Like you're a beacon in the community, right? You come from um, humble beginnings and then you change your life, and that's a, the range. And when people see that range, I know street people because I'm, I'm, I, you know, I've come from humble beginnings myself. When you see that, there's hope. There's mm -hmm. hope, Definitely. right? And God, you know, there's hope. Yeah. Definitely. So, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Deacon Appreciate it. Thank Dada. you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for having me.